welcome back to episode two of The Cutting Edge. Today we're gonna to be discussing a novel study about the language of fungi. So in this study, the overview is that it proposes that fungi actually might have a language. Specifically, there are four fungi that they're studying in the study that um, give off electrical signals that indicate some form of language similar to how humans or other animals communicate. So let's get into it. I want to just make a brief statement that I'm not a mycologist, so I'm going to butcher these names. So please bear with me while I try to pronounce it. So in today's episode, we delve into the fascinating world of fungi and investigate a novel study that proposes fungi may communicate through electrical signals, much like neurons in animals. This intriguing possibility opens up new avenues in our understanding of communication in the natural world. Background of fungal communication. Communication in the biological world is a fundamental process that allows organisms to interact with their environment and each other. While we are familiar with communication in animals and plants through chemical signals, visual cues, and sounds, recent studies suggest that fungi might also have sophisticated forms of communication. This communication could be facilitated through electrical spiking activity, which has traditionally been associated with neural activity in animals. The study language of fungi. The study titled Language of Fungi Derived from their Electrical Spiking Activity by Andrew Adamatsky from the Unconventional Computing Laboratory at UWE Bristol explores the concept in depth. The research focuses on four species of fungi, Omphalitus nidforus or ghost fungus, Flamulina relutips inoci, Schizophyllum commune, or split gill, and Cordyceps militaris, or caterpillar fungus. These species were chosen for their distinct electrical spiking patterns and biological characteristics. The methodology. The study involved recording the electrical spiking activities of these fungi using differential electrodes inserted into the substrate colonized by the fungi or directly into their fruiting bodies. The electrical spikes were then analyzed to identify patterns that might indicate a form of communication. The key methodological steps. Electrode insertion. Pairs of iridium-coated stainless steel subdermal needle electrodes were used. These were inserted into the substrate or sporocarps of the fungi. The distance between the electrodes were 1 to 2 centimeters. Data recording. Electrical activity was recorded at one sample per second. Multiple electrode pairs were used simultaneously to capture comprehensive data. Spike detection. Spikes were detected in a semi-automatic mode, filtering out false positives. Parameters for spike detection were specific to each species. Findings. The study revealed several fascinating aspects of fungal electrical activity. Electrical spiking characteristics. Each species exhibited unique spiking characteristics with varying durations and amplitudes. For instance, Cordyceps militaris showed the lowest average spiking frequency, while Flamulina veliptudes exhibited a rich spectrum of patterns combining low and high frequency oscillations. Communication potential. The electrical spikes are often clustered into trains, which would be analogous to words in human language. These patterns suggest the potential form of information processing and communication within the fungal mycelium. Linguistic analysis. By grouping spikes into words, the study found that the distribution of fungal word lengths matched those of human languages. The complexity of these sentences were analyzed using algorithmic and linguistic metrics, showing that some fungi generate more complex sentences than others. Species-specific findings. Omphalitus nidformis, low amplitude and low frequency spikes with high variability. Flamulina valupitudes, diverse patterns with bursts of high frequency spiking. Schizophyllum commune, remarkably diverse activity, with fast spiking and transitions between different types of activity. Cordyceps militaris, long intervals between spikes with high amplitude variability. Implications. The implications of these findings are profound. It could suggest the new findings or new understanding of communications. This study suggests that communication through electrical signals is not exclusive to organisms with nervous systems. Fungi, despite lacking a nervous system, might use similar mechanisms for internal communication. Biological and ecological insights. Understanding fungal communication can provide insights into their behavior, interactions with other organisms, and their role in the ecosystem. Technological applications. 
The principles of fungi communication might inspire new technologies in biocomputing and artificial intelligence, leveraging natural processes for innovative solutions. Future directions. The study opens several pathways for future research, broadening the scope. Expanding the study to include more species of fungi might determine if these communications patterns are widespread, if there is false positives, or what really is causing this. Of course, electrical activity is fairly common in all organisms, so we can't say, but the, you know, the pattern of it is what is determining, right? Or is suggesting that there might be a language. Decoding the language. Further linguistic analysis to understand the grammar and syntax of the fungal language. Practical applications. Exploring how this knowledge can be applied in agriculture, medicine, and technology. And finally, of course, this might have profound philosophical and scientific implications. If we found that, you know, fungi, you know, have an actual communication system with the language, that might um, make us have to reconsider all organisms in how they uh, communicate and also how we, you know, there's probably going to be a ton of ethics and you name it, right? But anyways, the conclusion. The study of the language of fungi represents a groundbreaking step in our understanding of communication in the natural world. By revealing that fungi might communicate through electrical spiking activity, we gain a deeper appreciation of the complexity and sophistication that these often overlooked organisms have. As research continues, we may uncover even more about how fungi interact with their environment and other living beings, potentially leading to revolutionary applications in science and technology. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Cutting Edge. Stay tuned for more expectations on the frontiers of science.